Joining us exclusively on the deal is Jack Hittery, CEO of Sandbox AQ. Welcome back, Jack. Congrats on the deal. So talk to us about what you're going to do for the Department of Defense. Uh, good to see you, Sarah. Uh, this is an exciting announcement today. We're making exclusively on CNBC. Uh, we're announcing our contract for Active Guard, which is our cyber platform that protects against AI and quantum threats uh, for the Pentagon. Uh, this software has been in testing for over two years uh, with the Pentagon and DISA, their information systems agency, uh, and it just went live now in production. Number one, the AI attack. We know what happens there on November 14th. Anthropic announced, as an example, that uh, the Chinese, a state-sponsored actor from China, uh, used Anthropic's Claude code generation tool to attack 30 different U.S. firms, 30 different firms using Gen AI uh, embedded in those firms as the vector of attack. This is happening more and more, not just with Anthropic's uh, Gen AI, but all Gen AI. So the good news is that 75% of all companies across the U.S. and the Fortune 500 are using Gen AI, and they're gaining productivity for that. The bad news is that usage of Gen AI introduces huge vulnerabilities. Only 6% of firms have a cyber uh, defense plan for the use of Gen AI. So we were just talking about this from China, actually. So, so is it a mistake, then, for the U.S. to be able to sell NVIDIA's H200 AI chips to China? Well, that, that's a different story altogether. But on that particular point, one thing to keep in mind is that while we do want to constrain China in terms of access to hardware, we also have to be mindful of the Chinese chip companies. Uh, More Threads is a Chinese uh, chip company that just went public. Uh, the IPO was a big success there. And in fact, the founder of DeepSeek uh, was one of the big winners and investors in that company. Mm. There's an ecosystem there that is now betting on domestic Chinese chip firms such as Huawei, uh, More Threads, Cambricon, and others. Uh, to win in that game. So we want to also make sure that we in the U.S. with our firms like NVIDIA and others have a level playing field to access all markets around the world. So there's definitely a balance there. But, but coming back to China on another front, uh, one of the areas that the Pentagon is very concerned about is the quantum attack from China as well. So we have the AI attack using Gen AI as a vector uh, for infiltration into U.S. companies and into sensitive areas of the Pentagon. Uh, we need to protect against that. That's what we're doing now with Active Guard. And we also need to protect against the upcoming quantum attack. The Q day is coming up uh, in the next number of years, and that's the day that uh, Chinese quantum computers can start to deconstruct and get into RSA and other encrypted material. RSA is what the Pentagon and all U.S. companies use to encrypt material, to transmit confidential information across the Internet. This goes down with the advent of uh, and rise of scaled quantum computers. So two attacks, AI and differently quantum as well.